According to a leaked UN monitoring report obtained in July, a report commissioned by the World Bank found 131 million US dollars in transitional federal government revenues unaccounted for in 2009-2010. The monitoring group's own investigation suggests that the real scale of corruption is probably even higher since millions of dollars of revenue go unrecorded. This report has been leaked at a time when we are overcoming the transitional period and Somalia is undertaking a positive political progress. The main reason is to discredit the TFG and create obstacles in the future Somalia political progress. However, Somali president criticized the contents of the 198-page report and said that the UN monitoring group reports plans on undermining the current political successes in Somalia. The controversial UN monitoring report, in other words, says that out of every $10 received by the TFG in 2009 to 2010, $7 never made it to the state coffers. And in 2011, almost a quarter of the total TFG expenditure, that is over 12 million US dollars, was absorbed by the offices of the three top leaders, that is the president, the prime minister and the speaker of the parliament. President Sharif said that the UN monitoring group is an enemy of the Somali people and challenged them to issue reports of atrocities committed all along the civil war rather than targeting the interim authorities' finances. The UN monitoring group that recently released a report is unsupported and disliked among Somalians. They had not reported any other events in the past 20 years, yet there were atrocities going on in Somalia. People had been killed, people were robbed, women were raped, and they never came up with a report on that. In the course of the investigation, members of the UN monitoring group traveled to a number of countries in Europe, Middle East, Africa and the United States. The report has drawn mixed reactions in Somalia, especially at a time when presidential elections are barely a month away. However, analysts and politicians argue that the content of the report will have an adverse effect on the future political ambitions of the president, the current prime minister and the speaker of the interim parliament. Uh, really, and the people are very tired about ineffective and corrupt government. They need a transformational leader, a leader that can change the situation. And I believe that the country needs an educated person who doesn't have participated for the past two and a half years of ineffectiveness and corruption of this country. Presidential election campaigns are gearing up in Somalia ahead of the August deadline for the current interim authority that has lasted for eight years, with half of that time spent fighting the Al-Shabaab fighters who are opposed to the current administration. Abdulaziz Bilal, Press TV, Mogadishu.